हेलो माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन सेवन डेज द वर्ल्ड हैज केप्ट एन अकाउंट ऑफ मेनी गुड एंड बैड डेट्स बट देयर इज अ डेट व्हिच हैज फोर्स्ड द एंटायर वर्ल्ड टू लिव अंडर द शैडो ऑफ डेंजर टू दिस डे दैट डेट इज 16 जुलाई 1945 This is the same date on which America tested the first atomic bomb in the form of Trinity test. Since that day the world has seen two horrific scenes of devastation caused by the atomic bomb. The first such devastation was seen on 6 August 1945. On this day America attacked Hiroshima in Japan with an atomic bomb. After this the second scene was seen on 9 August 1945. On this day America dropped the atomic bomb on Nagasaki. Both these attacks were so dangerous that till date Japan has not been able to recover from them. At the same time, the world is still living under its threat. The situation is such that if war breaks out anywhere in the world, the whole world starts speculating about the use of the atomic bomb. This is also being felt in the recent ongoing Israel Hamas war and Russia Ukraine conflict. But a recent step by Russia has increased this danger even more. In fact, recently the Russian parliament has approved a bill cancelling the ratification of CTBT, that is Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. In such a situation, the question arises that what is this CTBT? What will be the impact of Russia's exit from this? Will this make it easier for Iran to get a nuclear bomb or will this force America to agree to give some concessions to Russia? In today's episode we will find answers to other such questions. The CTBT was drafted in 1996 with the goal of reducing and ultimately eliminating nuclear weapons. Any kind of nuclear weapon explosion is prohibited by this treaty. So far a total of 187 countries have signed it out of which 178 countries have approved it in the parliament At the same time out of 9 countries possessing nuclear weapons India Pakistan and North Korea have not yet signed it Only 3 countries that is Britain France and Russia have approved it While the US Israel and China have signed the treaty but have not ratified it In such a situation Russia's recent step resembles America's situation which has signed the treaty but have not ratified it in the parliament. This means that Russia is not coming out of the CTBT completely. However, Russia's withdrawal of approval means that it can now conduct nuclear tests. In such a situation if Russia restarts nuclear test, it will definitely nudge other countries to do the same. This will defeat the entire purpose of CTBT and start a new nuclear arms race. On the other hand, its effect will also be that it will increase the pressure on America to ratify CTBT. In fact, Russia has attempted to make the CTBT a point of its strategic dialogue with the US for more than 2 decades. On June 4, 2000, Russian President Putin and the then US President Bill Clinton signed a joint statement on the principles of strategic stability. There was a mention of ratification of CTBT. Russia also ratified the CTBT in its parliament that same year. But America did not do this even after 20 years of the agreement. Also during the European missile defense talks in the early 2010 America had also withdrawn from the anti-ballistic missile treaty of 1972. However, now the last remaining bilateral nuclear weapons treaty between the US and Russia is new start. Under this, these countries can regularly inspect each other's nuclear facilities. But Russia suspended this treaty just a few months ago. However, this treaty will expire in 2026. At a time when there is no nuclear agreement between the two countries, the US has recently conducted a nuclear test in Nevada. According to American media, it is 24 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. However, prior to this test, the US had invited representatives of China and Russia to observe tests permitted under the CTBT 
to demonstrate that it was not violating the treaty. But in these circumstances, when the Russia-Ukraine conflict is in full swing and the war between Israel and Hamas is also going on, America's promotion of nuclear testing is certainly troubling. According to experts, this experiment was done only to put pressure on China to join CTBT. In fact, China is actively expanding its nuclear arsenal, about which America is concerned. But after the US test, Russia's concern has actually increased. This is why now Russia also wants to increase its nuclear testing program. Apart from all this, Russia's de-ratification of CTBT is important for Russia's allies like North Korea and Iran. Russia can now increase access to nuclear weapons to these two countries. However, Russia's decision is more convenient for America and China. Now they have the option to deceive the world in the name of Russia. Experts are also seeing Russia's move to come out of the CTBT as a reaction to the sanctions imposed on it after the attack on Ukraine in February 2022. That means Russia wants to give a big political signal to America and Western countries by promoting nuclear testing. Recently, Russia has made it clear that it has no plans to discuss arms control with America. It will hold such discussion only when there is a change in America's Ukraine policy. In such a situation, it is clearly evident that Russia has made CTBT one of its weapons. On the other hand, some experts believe that Russia will not gain anything from this. This will neither increase Russia's national security, nor will it be able to motivate America to make concessions on the Ukraine issue. Rather, it will increase the concern of those countries who believe that Russia is an important ally in preventing nuclear non-proliferation. At the same time, Russia, which wants to put pressure on America, will also have to understand that America's ratification alone will not make the CTBT effective. A total of 44 nuclear technology-possessing states will have to ratify it, which also includes countries like Egypt, Israel, Iran, China, India, North Korea and Pakistan. Also, with the increasing influence of technology, CTBT is no longer very effective. While still being a ratifying country of the CTBT, Russia had tested intercontinental ballistic missiles and cruise missiles to complete the modernization of its nuclear forces. But still, the role of CTBT in preventing nuclear proliferation cannot be denied. Since its coming into existence, only one country, North Korea, has conducted nuclear tests. That is, this treaty puts moral pressure on the member countries due to which they are restrained to some extent from conducting nuclear tests. In such a situation, Russia's exit from CTBT has certainly put an unwanted pressure on the global scenario. So that's all in today's episode. See you in the next episode. But before that, let's note down a question based on today's story. Russia's withdrawal from the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty or CTBT will have serious repercussions on global politics. Analyze.